Hey guys, what's going on? It is Wisdom Wednesdays, and I want to talk to you about something that is kind of controversial, that is not super PC, and that I have been avoiding for a long time because my thoughts on it have changed a lot as I've gotten older, and I don't want this to necessarily influence the way that I am looked at or the way I approach relationships. But it's something that needs to be talked about, and it's something that a lot of people are avoiding and not talking about. So it's time that yours truly brought it up. And that is monogamy. And in the title, I ask you, do you believe in monogamy? And my own personal answer is, I don't know. I'm not going to say yes, I'm not going to say no. But I can talk to you about what I've learned over the past couple years, and the experiences I have had with my mentors, with people I trust, and a general idea of the way the world is working today. The first point I want to bring up is that we, as a society, are at an all-time high with divorce rates. This means that people are getting married and not staying married, and for whatever reasons, um, it could, again, vary very differently from person to person and relationship to relationship, but a lot of it has to do with some form of cheating, and this can be emotional or physical. And the world we're living in today, we are beyond exposed to other people in a way that we have never, ever been before. And we still don't completely understand the way this is affecting us. But being engaged in any kind of social media, you're seeing constant imagery and video and people that you are attracted to, that you want in some capacity, that you feel something for. And again, whether it's romantic or otherwise, that's up for debate and up to you to determine. But it's making it harder and harder for us to look at our other person and go, you're the one I want forever and that's it. The second point I want to make is that we are evolving as humans. We are living longer. We are getting married later. We are deciding to have less and less children. And all of these things play into the idea of what a relationship, a monogamous relationship, is and was from the past. Now, monogamy, again, is something that is thought of as the ideal, or really the only way to have a relationship that is known in the public, that we discuss as individuals. And that means that, well, back in time, a woman and a man, but now two women or two men, one and one, are together. And it is them purely with one another in a closed um environment of a relationship, meaning that you only have sex with one another, but you can have, you know, friendships with other people. Now, I don't know if this is, again, the right way to do things, and I can tell you from personal experience, I've only been in monogamous relationships, but again, they haven't lasted beyond two and a half years, so I don't know what would happen if it had been longer, or if we had gotten to a point of true honesty within our communication that says, What is at the core of our foundation that is making this not work? A lot of the times I dealt with jealousy. I dealt with insecurity on the other person's side. And I don't know why. I never gave them a reason to think that I was cheating or even considering that. We never had threesomes as a couple and we never did anything that was considered outside of a monogamous relationship. But my personality is an extroverted one. It is super friendly and slightly flirty. But again, when I am yours and you are mine, at the end of the day, we're going to go out and we're going to have fun. We're going to mingle. We're not going to be next to each other the whole time. Or we're going to go home together or back to our own separate apartments alone if that's what we've decided and agreed upon. And this comes to my next big point of where relationships seem to fumble, and that's the communication is that we often go into these relationships with ideals. Again, not what actually is happening, but ideals of what we think we are supposed to be and how we are expected to be from society. And that means a nice, sweet, monogamous person. However, the chances of you truly being that person 100% of the time is really freaking hard. Again, there is constant things thrown at us to tempt us and to push us. And while it says in the Bible or wherever that a marriage is between one woman and one man, the thing is, again, we have evolved as people, and a lot of the stuff throughout history has also shown that that's not necessarily true. But in America, specifically, we're built on Protestant reform, which means that we came here 
looking to kind of be a more confined conservative place. But as we have evolved, that's not been who we are, and that's not who the world is. And, I mean, even just in India, the idea of a love marriage is considered wild and crazy. So why don't we begin to think of the way our marriages are slightly different, or the way we partner up, or the way we unionize with one another, as modern? Now, there's modern relationships, there's modern families where it's, you know, a husband and a wife got married, they had a child, they had a few children, then they divorced, then there's another mom and another dad, and then there's two couples, and sometimes they get along great and they have a giant family dinner. But then there's also the fact that there's just, uh, I'm like, ah, why is that more okay than having two grown adults go, we would like to introduce someone else into our relationship to possibly make us feel more compatible at moments. Again, I've not been in a relationship for over two and a half years, and I'm just going off of things that I've learned and understood from mentors. And again, these are the only people who I've seen in relationships that are successful for over 20 to 25 years. And they haven't always been monogamous. And why is that supposed to be a bad thing? You know, these people looked at each other and decided that they wanted to find their partner, that they wanted to start a life, they wanted to build something with someone. And it was beyond beautiful and romantic, and they did just that. And then, like any relationship, they went through hard times, and they went through moments of not sharing if this is really what it was all about. But they knew they wanted to continue this life with this person. So they sat down, and after being cheated on and cheating... They understood that maybe this wasn't who they wanted to be, and that maybe the excitement and the lustful side to us doesn't die, and that maybe we do lose that giant attraction to our significant other as we get older, because they have become our everything. And again, that's another big thing we need to consider. Why should one person be your everything? It's crazy to think that your husband or wife is going to fulfill every basic need and then still have you look at them and go, you're amazing. You also nag on me and you make me feel incompetent and stressed and annoyed at moments. But again, you also make me feel loved and amazing and better about myself. So we need to really have an open, honest conversation and go, I don't know what it is to be in a relationship because I haven't been in one for X amount of years, and if these ones that are working are open or have moments of openness, then why do we start to look at that and see what's working in those and what's not working in those? Because again, no relationship is perfect. And if we're going to continue to keep getting divorced, then why get married at all? And if we're having kids less and less, and that was a big determining factor of why we get married in the first place, then what is this all about? Again, this doesn't mean that you should go off and have orgies and threesomes and do whatever you want with whoever you want. It means that you need to have an honest conversation with your partner and say, what is it that we want? Do we want to move forwards together? Do we want to build a life together and continue to do that when things get hard and when we start to look at other people with maybe a little bit more than just a friendly hello? We need to build foundations and have rules and guidelines in place so that it's not just a giant running around craziness but an understood, loving place. And again, monogamy may be that for some people, and not being monogamous may be that for other people. But who's to say that either one is right or wrong? You know, there's this idea of happiness that we all have in our minds. But why is it that it's supposed to be a standard version? No one, no one, no two people are exactly the same, so how should happiness be the same for two different people? We need to be honest with ourselves as we move on in this crazy new world that we live in, where we are overexposed, where we are constantly connected, and where we just don't know where tomorrow is going to bring us with all of those different technologies and advances and everything else that's going on. So rather than just call people sluts and say that they're just being horny or whatever, deviants, I mean, I don't know what you want to call people like that if you don't agree with this. But I think we need to have a real honest conversation about it and see what it is that works and doesn't work. And again, I think that no matter what, a relationship needs to be built on monogamy. Because if you're with someone right off the bat and you're open, chances are it's not the right person for you. A year, two years, five years, ten years, maybe your whole life is just with that one person. But maybe it's not. And maybe the sooner we accept that, the sooner we start having more healthy 
adult mature relationships with one another. So that's my big crazy topic conversation for this Wisdom Wednesday. And I know it's going to be an interesting one. And I cannot wait to hear what you guys have to say on this. And again, I'm not saying that either one is right or wrong. I don't know what I believe is right or wrong yet. But I'm just talking to you about where I'm coming from and what I'm thinking. And again, who knows what the future holds. If you've enjoyed this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. Thumbs up. Let me know that you care, that you like this video, that you want to continue this conversation of being a mature responsible, open individual. If you have a question or a comment, please feel to leave it in the section below. And last but not least, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? What are you doing? We're just having real discussions about mature things that a lot of other people are just kind of bouncing around with. So click that little bit up there. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Much love. Over and out. Bye guys.